And so it took me a while um, to get comfortable talking about myself and talking about the things I go through. So that now when I, when I come on, I don't have any qualms about sharing and sharing truthfully um, about the things I go through, you know. Um, and like I said, even as a single woman, that's that's not a big, ooh, you know, that's, that's, that's not a big to do. It is the truth, you know. Um, and let me put a pin in there. That's not an invitation either. That, that's just my reality, okay? That's just my reality. I've gone through this journey as a single woman by myself. That's just my reality. That's no invitation for anybody, you know. Um, particularly if you don't have right intentions, okay? Because, like I said, the next phase of what I'm going to be sharing is how this 11-year journey has impacted my mental and financial state status. And um, I think you, you're going to be surprised to find out how God can teach you how to do more with less. That was something really big I had to learn. Um, cut Had cut back on a lot of things. Um, because the longer the journey lasted, you know, um, the more financial weight I started to feel. And um, it's heavy. You know, I'm not going to even hold you on it it's it's heavy like i said particularly being a single woman um going through all of this um financially is heavy mentally it's exhausting um because um it just is you know like i said i don't you don't have anybody there so like for those that have partners or what have you or significant others, you know, it's easier for you guys because you got somebody there constantly that you can talk to. You got somebody going to doctor's appointments with. I'm doing all that by myself. I mean, when I go to surgery, I'm there. You know, when I go to doctor's appointments, I'm there by myself. When I got to get more bad news, I'm there by myself, you know. So when I'm driving home, I'm crying on my way home, you know. So for those of you that you have partners, you know, lean into them, you know, know that you don't want to feel the weight of, of, of this type of journey by yourself. So if you have a partner or a significant other, lean into them. If they're there, if they're mentally, physically, emotionally available to you, you know, lean into them. Now, I understand you can't lean into somebody who's not there for you. I get it, you know. I get it because you can be with somebody and they still not be there for you. I get that. But if you have someone that shows you that they care for you, then lean into that. Lean on them um, because this kind of journey that lasts for this long, you guys, listen, it ain't for the weak. Let me just tell you that. And let me tell you something, not that I'm so strong, but this 11-year journey ain't for the weak, okay? Just let me say that like that. It ain't for the weak, and it ain't for the faint of heart. And when you find yourself in a dilemma in this journey, in this area that I am, um, mentally and financially, Sometimes the mental and financial weight is heavier than the weight of the journey itself. You know, sometimes I worry about my mental and my financial status more than I do about the brain tumors itself. You understand what I'm saying? I hope I made that make sense to you. Um, so, because the brain, I can't do anything about the brain tumors. That's completely in God's hands. I can't undo the permanent damage that the strokes did to my brain. I, there's nothing I can do about that. The things I can kind of get control over is my mental status and my financial status. 
And those are the two things I'm working the hardest on. The hardest. I'm working the hardest on those two things. You know, um, financially more than mental, you know, because I have a wonderful psychologist, psychiatrist. I have a wonderful team of mental health professionals um, that I'm not ashamed to talk about. Um, if you watch my show, you know I talk about that very transparently um, and very openly. Um, I am an advocate, particularly um, for black men to come on the show and talk about mental health. Um, that's one of the foundation or one of the legs of my show. Um, so I'm, I'm not ashamed to talk about mental health at all. You know, um, financially, it, the, the burden is heavy financially. Uh, like I said, particularly because it's, it's me, you know. Um, and with me now learning, um, I think in May, May of this year, because I was wondering, you know, why sometimes I'm searching for my words or whatever, and I was having trouble recalling certain things. And so when I went to see my neurologist, he was showing me areas on my brain scan that I have permanent brain damage from the strokes. So, um, and I think that was in May of this year that I found that out. Um, so I, at one point I was like, I'm just going to give up, you know, and, um, I think it was then I was like, well, I'm just going any day now, you know, it might be any day now. I can have another stroke any day now. And I really took my focus off of living and started focusing more on not living, you know. Um, then I'm watching my finances just pile up and pile up and pile up and pile up, you know. Um, watching my bills just pile up and pile up and pile up. You know, and I'm just like, I, I can't, I can't, I, I don't have no more energy, I don't have no more steam, you know, I the, I used to be the little engine that could, but I, I ain't got no more left in me now, you know, and so, being on a journey for 11 years, I'm going to be honest with you, it weighs on you financially and mentally, so when I get back in the studio, um, beginning of September, that's the first thing I want to share with you guys. But in the meantime, I do have a GoFundMe page set up. Um, you can go on GoFundMe, type in my name, Benita Bradley, B-E-N-I-T-A-B-R-I-D-L-E-Y. B-R-I-D-L-E-Y? Yeah, that's how I spell my last name, Benita Bradley. Go to GoFundMe.com, type in my name, read my story. Um pictures on there videos on there if you get kind of squeamish now some of my pictures are graphic um you'll see you'll see what you'll see but like i say if you're kind of squeamish you you know some of the pictures you might want to skip over but go to gofundme.com and type my name in benita bradley search where it says search search for my name my story will come up you'll see all my pictures and videos throughout this 11 year journey um read my story if you're able to donate to my gofundme page if not then send a prayer or what have you and if you are uh so led to do so uh share the link to your to your social media social media platforms you know um and all they have to do is click on the link okay you don't have to do anything you don't have to worry about receiving no money passing no money none of that all you got to do is post the link, okay? Post the link, and boom, GoFundMe takes it from there, all right? So I just wanted to come on and uh, chat with you for a little bit. Um, so I will see you guys another time before the studio. Um, I'll be checking back in with you again, all right? But until then, um, I hope you guys have an incredible rest of the evening. It's late. Well, Seems late, it's 1057, my bedtime. Plus, I've been watching Tubi. Tubi got some good movies. All right, good night, y'all.